Hi, I'm Kitty and I'm going to show you how to draw a side profile of a child's face. So first up what you need is an A4 size piece of paper, a pencil and a rubber. So uh, my little boy has um, kindly volunteered again to <laughs> be my model for this picture. So to start what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, it's kind of quite a circle, a circular shape. To get the base um, structure of the head started. Now because he's little, his head is still quite a lot bigger than uh, the proportion of his body, so um, I guess that's what gives kids the acuteness and babies. So there's a circle, circular, circular oval or circle to start with. And this is how I start building uh, my drawing. So um, kind of look at that now and go, okay, so his head is coming slightly further up the back here. A little bit flatter across the top. It comes down and it's mostly here, of course, there. And comes down into the back of the here. Like that, and then across the front. We've got that forehead coming down a bit flatter. And then because I've taken the photo slightly looking down his ear is kind of down around here. So I'm just going to take a line across as a guide. And then just place that ear. Just in there like that. slightly so it's a bit more oval. Comes down into there. Then with that line I can see like going across that line is kind of would be kind of touching the bottom of that eye so just bring that eye like that by drawing a triangle shape. And now I can kind of go in and just work out that nose as well, which going straight ahead looks like it's coming down the end because he's still little, his nose is quite upturned. Bring that into the forehead. out and touches our circle guide back in. Now we're looking at the bottom of that ear coming across like that. Let me just come back in and do that lower lip. That. And then his little cheek comes around down the side. Yep. Like that. I think with his hairline, it kind of 
comes down and around. And then for the ear itself, we've got the little bit coming in like that. And up and around. Kind of back in there. And back around. Like that. And then another little bit. Yeah, like that. the eye. Let's draw that slightly curved line there for his eye. You can see that partial circle there with the pupil. Like that. And then he's got his little eyelashes coming forward. And just a few at the bottom there. I'm just going to grab my rubber and just rub out these guidelines that we've got happening. And then just fix up some of these lines here, so that bit, that bit, that bit. Like that. So for the eyebrow, it's going to come down. Just doing little soft strokes there with the pencil, just to give that a bit of texture. Like that. And then the hair. Kind of just like to 
just go in and just kind of quite randomly just using uh, sometimes pull the pencil or hold the pencil back a little further just to kind of be able to get those bigger strokes I'm kind of just do some triangular shapes and lots of random lines and it kind of gives a really nice hair type effect Also kind of keep an eye on how the hair is going so from here it's kind of going back that way but up here it's all just kind of messy and it goes a bit more straight across the top straight along here and kind of curves in and let's go back in and press it a little harder with my pencil just to give a bit of texture and difference to what we've already done keep building that up, the colour in the hair and the hair itself. Then <clears throat> can I go back in and use stippling shading today. So stippling is just like lots using lots of dots to build up kind of like a gradient um, of shading. So just behind his ear it's quite dark, so that's where I'm gonna concentrate the dots. And then as I get a bit further away from his ear, I just spread them a little wider. So again, just really getting in there, putting them quite close together, and then spreading them out mm. like that to just give it a nice shade. Then in here, some dots again, and around here. Concentrate them in there for the darker bits like that. I'm going to just go back in, do some more dots like that, and then up the back. Here. 
Again, just concentrating those dots close together, like that. And just down, just kind of lightly do them. his chin and just dotting them okay, here just look at the space like that Concentrate a little bit more there to give that darker bit under his nose, and then down here. Like that. And just around here as well. Just do a little bit more up here. Just a little bit more <clears throat> around the cheek. But again, we're just doing some really light ones and not so close like we did here. Just around the hairline. Sibling shading is quite a nice technique too if you're using um, a black ink pen, like a really, um, really thin pen. It can give some nice effects and textures too. Again, it's just they're giving a little hint, a little hint of shading there. Yeah. So there you have it, how to draw a child's face side profile and using stippling shading for a shading technique. 
Hope you enjoyed doing that. See you later.